Meanwhile, it's a perennial but nonetheless frustrating problem that's got you going over in our gripe corner. My gripe is potholes. They're everywhere and they're damaging cars on a daily basis. And the roads are not safe, there are many potholes. And they don't fill the potholes and that really annoys me. In fact, so incensed were Wendy and fiancé Dale about damage their car has been left with after they drove over a pothole, that they've travelled over 200 miles to get some advice from Martin James from consumer website Resolver. It was very scary, you know, because the car was all of a sudden just tilted over to one side and I had to pull into a ditch. Um, and then all the cars that were going past, you know, I was I was in a bit of a dodgy spot as well. I was very angry because, you know, tyres and wheels are expensive. With her car immobile, there was no choice but to call out a tow truck. And back in the local garage, more damage became evident. Then they took the wheels off and noticed that they had two huge dents in both wheels and both tyres. So... It was wow. nearly a thousand pounds worth of damage. A thousand pounds just for one pothole? Yeah. As we've reported on this program before, getting back what you're entitled to when your car is damaged by a pothole is not always easy, as Wendy has found. In her case, her local council has refused her claim. She just said, well, you know, I'm sorry, it's a section 58, whatever that is. Um, I'll wait to hear from your legal team. Uh, section 58 is um, part of the Highways Act of 1980, and that basically means have the council made a reasonable effort to resolve the problem with the pothole. Martin says if the council knew about the pothole before Wendy drove into it, she may be entitled to compensation from them for the damage. It's clear to me that, you know, you've done all that you can. You know, you guys could have been seriously hurt, so this is something that the council really do need to take seriously. If you're happy, me and the team here at Rip Off Britain will get on to them and see if we can get them to change their minds. And since filming, Martin has been in touch with Wendy's local council and is still working with it in the hope of getting a positive result for her.